Yo, what's up guys? My name is David Bakskara and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna play some GTA 5 Story Mode Episode 76. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video and turn notification on so you don't miss when I upload a new video or stream and I'm not gonna talk too much in these videos because I really don't know what I have to say to you guys and what I have to say now uh, I will try to upload a new video every single day I'm not promise you guys but I will try my best and what I also have to say to you guys are this episode is the last episode of GTA 5 um, story mode and I'm not gonna um, upload more videos on GTA 5 but I will play GTA 4 um, if you guys have any kind of game you want me to play, let me know in the comments down below. And then, have a very, enjoy my friend, and have fun time. See you guys soon. Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> what the f*** you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. No. Oh, yeah! <laughs> but that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're going to A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C, time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, Genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye Franklin? Lester, dog. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I, all right, I'm coming.
got off lucky, homie. What's the panic, bro? What the f you think? Man, imagine a f scenario that will f things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting, and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some wants me to kill Michael. Some other wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm man. I don't know what the f to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Well, who are the Steve Haynes, uh, this angry m from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the. Um, oh, that angry that, um, rich from whatever holy hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right. I say kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Oh. Man, are you for real? Uh, you're. F I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dog. I know, okay, but I, I, I'm sorry. I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're f Every single one of us is f Unless... Okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both that you boys are at the foundry in Marietta Heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. All right. What's up, homie? Man, things are kind of right now, dawg. It's all good, nigga. Who better to have a situation than a fool like me? Man, that's what I wanted to hear. Hey, look, I'm coming to your crib to get your ass. I'm here. Heading to the foundry place. Hey, look, hear me out, man. 
If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with it. Man, we got a real problem, dawg. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save them. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Hell yeah, I'm in. Who want to clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial mother ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your dick, nigga. Oh, please, nigga. Man, every fool in this town got somebody who want them clap. Yeah, but that applies to some fools more than others. I heard that. Nigga, I'm talking about you. Everybody in this town want to take a pop at your ass. He's lining up, camping and shit, trying to take a shot at the big chief. Ain't that the truth. But ain't nobody pissed off as, as Michael and Trevor, dawg. Shit, nigga, you play big, you stand to lose. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Look, man, Mike on Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at you. showdown with a private army, and you're bringing a rifle? Yeah, I'm bringing a rifle. It's a good gun. It'll get the job done. That gun? It makes me think this... Hey, man, what the am I doing risking my ass trying to save y'all ass if you just gonna kill each other? Hey, you're not saving me. You're saving him. Ah, oh, you're saving this guy. Man, y'all gotta keep your ass right and end this shit. If not, man, I'll put bullets in both Hey, they here? I know them when I see them, homie. They creep. All right, good. Y'all hear that? Now, we doing this shit, man, it's either now or never. Come on, Trevor. Where do you want me? All right, man. You go over there. All right, where you want me? You hold your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Near the building. Watch your sector. Chill, dog. You gotta wait.
All tight, dog. Please, all tight. I need some help, man. Quick. Hold on, homie. I'm going to try to get to you.
Ah. Ah, looks like we did it. Shit, for now. Yeah, exactly, for now. So, ho, ho, ho. what's next, huh? We're just gonna wait around till someone kills us, or are we gonna wait until gets turned again? Fight me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> Hell yeah, let me see, there's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody us afterwards. What about that tri- The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the, uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch, we want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey, <laughs> it's called a- all right, and if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. Oh, man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground, Wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes, to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang! Wei Chang! And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Shut that! Oh, I wanna die since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the Beach Club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. You are looking totes delicious. All right, we made our plans. Let's stick to them. We take out our assigned targets. Any deviation will lead to confusion and probably failure. We got one shot at this, guys. All right, let's do this shit. Hey, Lamar, that was above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> A nigga just want to be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's hood. Mike on Trevor, too. We grateful. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. A couple of loose ends. Aw, oh, shit. I know that voice. You creeping on some fools, huh? All right, nigga, we'll handle your candle.
Hey, the old man said, he's leaving the beach club. I'm gonna do it now. That was him. I got out clean. You dudes ain't gonna have no more triads coming after. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho! Who's up? We still gotta do stretch and agent hates. Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? What happens next is plant Steve Haynes in the dirt. I'm moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! God, this is crap. Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this frame right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Oh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Hi. You're that guy? Mitch, you fuck this 22. I know it. Mix. Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look at what's. Hey, I haven't seen you at the Epsilon training. You okay? It's all good. Stop. Good. Oh, God, that's a clip. What? No, I know it's really good. Just do a cutaway. No, I'll pick it up. No, I'll pick it up. I got something good. Ready? This is the result. 
Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look at what's really Pick it up, I got some. Oh my god! Guy! What's his name? He shot him! Lester, I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. The Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, 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 whatever. I'll go up there and get him. Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. I got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness.
Where am I? What's happening? You, you don't know what you're getting into, pal! This is why people want to kill you! You won't shut up! Resourceful guy getting past those train killers. I need someone like you in my organization. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issues. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go. You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me, I'm not. Rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me. You'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Man. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on! Come on! Let me out of here! Look! I got my own company, Trevor Phillips Industries. Oh, yeah, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a stake and give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. You're over! You can't do this to me! My friends won't be happy if I empty a clip into the trunk. You don't want the fat man around either. This is why the people I put in my trunk are usually dead. You're making a mistake! Find a happy place, you zen cock! Here we are, Slick, with a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. T? Never better, amigo. Good. Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I picked C. Ain't that a bitch. You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism, the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two, offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep 
your problems out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. <laughs> So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you too much find me out at middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin.
Yo, and that's it well for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and turn notification on so you don't miss when I upload a new video or stream. And I want to say thank you all for watching. I appreciate that. The next game will be GTA 4. If you guys have any kind of idea what I should play, let me know in the description below. See you guys next time and have a very good day. Bye for now.